Hi and welcome to this video series. I will be showing you how to set up multi-factor authentication on login or screen unlock on an AWS workspace. And this video talks about the verification of the prerequisites. Let's start with the Win um, Centrify Identity Service or Privilege Service side. And this is a SaaS instance. What we need is A, obviously knowledge of uh, how MFA with Centrify works and knowledge of AWS. But then we need to have the basic building blocks for MFA. The first thing is a role that in this case is my AWS workspaces role that I have uh, right here. And it uh, has to be provisioned with uh, uh, the administrative right of computer login and privilege elevation. This is going to act as our authorization uh, when it comes to uh, allowing computers to be able to talk to the Centrify service uh, to broker uh, multi-factor authentication on behalf of users. So we have no members because we don't have our workspaces yet. Uh, the next thing is we need an authentication profile. In this case I have the server access express. So based on your planning you may have a different authentication profile but in here what I'm doing is I'm allowing both MFA and step up mechanisms. No secrets and no additional secrets. Okay. Then we need to basically set up a profile for a server authentication. So notice that I have an authentication profile, the one that I showed you before that is set up for login. This will satisfy the login, the screen unlock, and also RDP, but in this case we're not doing RDP. Uh, this right here will be the profile for privilege elevation which will be covered later. So once we have this part here um, we've verified that we have the building blocks that we need so far. Of course, uh, from a connectivity perspective, um, the workspace needs to trust the um, Centrify instance to be able to uh, do um, uh, SSO over HTTPS. But we don't have a connector yet, so we're going to have to do this later. So the next thing that we need to do is verify what we have on, e on AWS. So in this case I have nothing. I only have a clean installation of um, uh, AWS. So the first thing we need to do is create, create a security group. This is going to be the base security group that is going to allow communication between the Centrify connector, uh, the directory uh, of choosing and also the member machine. So in this case I'm going to call it uh, SG uh, for uh, SG for my connectors. Right? And um, I'm going to add a rule and it's basically to allow uh, the ability to communicate through all traffic um, for this, this security group. So um, first uh, I got to save it so let me just press cancel. So we're going to create this guy. Let's add a rule. This is going to be to allow me to do RDP from the outside. So this is going to be RDP from uh, everywhere. So we're going to create that. And the description here is going to be We're going to create this guy. Uh, now that we know the name of it, we are going to also allow communication within um, that uh, group. So we're going to provide, just to simplify things, and uh, we're going to provide a rule. We don't need this rule because this is for um, uh, IPv6. So in here we're going to provide a rule for all traffic, and it's going to be um, within that same security group. So I'm going to save that. We're going to keep things like this. The next thing we need is actually a directory. right? So we need a directory to be able to run our um, AWS workspaces. So we're going to go to workspaces and um, we're going to get started here and we're going to do an advanced setup 
we're going to pick a simple ID. This is the simplest way for you to do this. And I'm going to pick a simple name here. Um, so this is Workspaces Demo. And this is going to be um, Corp Workspaces uh, Demo. And Corp. I'm going to give it an administrator password. And it's going to be a small one. And we're going to use the same um, VPC as our security group. So I'm going to use that same VPC. Uh, the subnet, um, I'm just going to use my USC 1.1a. And we're going to do next step. So uh, let's see. This one is already taken, so we're going to do uh, so. Here's our details here. So, this is going to go ahead and create a, um, a directory. Once this is done, uh, we'll uh, have our directory and we can resume.